Well, let's follow to the ongoing story between the Russia and Ukraine war, which has entered its third week with peace seeming far from signed. Now, more deaths are being recorded and the humanitarian crisis is deepening. The Ukrainian president, Vladimir Zelensky, is calling for an urgent negotiations with Russia. And we have more details in this report. Reports say fighting is still continuing within the busy southern port city of Mariupol, where Russian troops have been able to walk their way in through armored columns. About 300,000 people are still trapped there. They are caught under the shelling because evacuation routes still cannot be used. About 100 people are trapped in the bomb theater that was earlier said to be housing more than 1,000 people after it was targeted a couple of days ago. Analysts say if Mariupol falls amid the current tough situation, that would provide Russia with an effective land corridor stretching for most of the south coast and up the eastern regions of Ukraine. As Mariupol bears the brunt, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky is calling on Russia to come to the negotiating table without delay. He's urging Russia to count its own losses, saying it is time to restore territorial integrity and justice for Ukraine. President Zelensky also says Russian shelling is preventing the establishment of humanitarian corridors from the besieged city of Mariupol. The mayor of the city says fighting has now reached the city center. On his part, Russia's president Vladimir Putin has accused Ukraine of stalling peace talks with unrealistic proposals. He allegedly said that in a telephone conversation with a German chancellor. He held the invasion of Ukraine to thousands in a Russian stadium. Elsewhere, the eastern city of Kharkiv is continuing to repel Russian attacks. The same is happening in Sumy to the northeast. Fierce fighting is continuing in several cities in more than three weeks after Russia launched its full-scale invasion. According to Maxa Technologies' analysis and satellite images, the Russian military is literally digging in, constructing etting berms around its military equipment northwest of the Ukrainian capital, Kiev. The new satellite images show the protective berms around Russian military equipment near Ozera and the Antonov Air Base. Additional Russian military and some BEM construction are also seen in the villages of Zivithivka and Beresyanka, further northwest.